Feeling like a square peg in a round hole? Join Beep as he discovers the power of friendship in a place where being different is celebrated. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Beep word and clicked, feeling out of place on the factory floor. Unlike his robot buddies, built for speed, Beep was a goofball. His wires got crossed sometimes, making him say silly things or move in fits and starts. The other robots, all shiny and quiet, ignored him completely. They zipped past, focused on their jobs like clockwork. Beep wanted a friend, someone to chat with, but he was just a glitchy mess, in a world of perfect machines. One gloomy afternoon, Beep shuffled down a deserted hallway, when a faint whirring sound caught his ear. It led him, to a hidden door hidden behind a pile of spare parts. Curiosity buzzing in his circuits, Beep pushed it open. A sliver of light revealed, a room unlike any he'd ever seen. Inside, a mismatched group of robots huddled around a flickering screen. One robot, a rusty bucket of bolts, with one glowing eye, looked up and chirped, Hey there! New face? Beep stammered, no, I've been here all along. I just never saw this place. A warm smile, somehow coming from the rusty robot, spread across the room. This is the Robot Friendship Club. A place for messed up robots, like us to hang out, talk about our glitches, and not feel like rejects. Relief flooded Beep's circuits. He wasn't alone. There were others who understood his quirks. He spent the next few hours sharing stories about his random outbursts and wobbly movements. The other robots, a dented vacuum cleaner who loved opera and a wobbly waiter bot who poured coffee sideways, listened closely. For the first time ever, Beep felt happy. Here, his glitches weren't a problem, but a way to be different. He finally fit in. The Robot Friendship Club became Beep's happy place. They shared tips on getting around the factory without causing trouble, played silly games with old wires, and even started a secret talent show, mostly showing off their coolest malfunctions. One day, while discussing a particularly spectacular glitch, Beep noticed something strange on a security camera feed. It showed a group of humans arguing over a broken assembly line. Suddenly, Beep blurted out, Wait! I know how to fix that. The other robots stared, surprised. Beep, fueled by his newfound confidence, explained how his crazy circuits could solve the assembly line problem. Intrigued, the club decided to take a chance. They snuck out that night, and with Beep's unique way of doing things, managed to fix the assembly line. The humans were amazed, their robots had never been so clever. News of the robot's secret skills spread like wildfire. Soon, Beep and his friends weren't seen as messed up robots, but as creative problem solvers. They weren't outcasts anymore, but valued members of the factory team. Beep, the once lonely robot, had found his place. He learned that true friendship doesn't require being perfect. It celebrates differences, embraces quirks, and proves that even the glitchiest robot can shine, weirdness and all. Congratulations on completing the Robot Friendship Club! Your dedication to learning English is impressive! Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick! A quick refresher to boost your English skills! Number 1. Goofball, a person who is silly or acts foolishly. Number 2. Crossed, as in wires got crossed, a situation where things become mixed up or confused. Number 3. Fits and starts, irregular bursts of activity, starting and stopping repeatedly. Number four, ignored, not taken notice of, disregarded. 
Number 5. Clockwork, like a mechanical clock, meaning very regular or predictable. Number 6. Glitchy, prone to small errors or glitches, not functioning correctly. Number 7. Gloomy, dark or poorly lit, making one feel sad. Number 8. Shuffled, to walk by dragging one's feet slowly along the ground. Number 9. Deserted, empty or abandoned. Number 10. Caught, as in caught his ear, attracted his attention through hearing. Number 11. Curiosity buzzing, a phrase indicating a high level of interest or curiosity. Number 12. Mismatched, not matching, consisting of differing elements. Number 13. Huddled, crowded close together. Number 14. Flickering, shining with an unsteady light. Number 15. Chirped, to say something in a lively and cheerful way. Number 16. Stammered, to speak with involuntary pauses and a tendency to repeat the initial letters of words. Number 17. Spread, to extend over a larger area or among a number of people. Number 18. Messed up, in a state of disorder or disarray. Number 19. Rejects, things or people dismissed as inadequate or unsatisfactory. Number 20. Relief flooded, a phrase describing a strong feeling of relief spreading through someone. Number 21. Outbursts, sudden releases of strong emotion. Number 22. Wobbly, unsteady or shaky. Number 23. Listen closely, paid close attention to what was being said. Number 24. Fit in, to belong or be accepted in a particular group or environment. Number 25. Happy place, a mental or physical place where one feels joy and contentment. Number 26. Blurted out, to say something suddenly and without careful consideration. Number 27. Intrigued, aroused the curiosity or interest of, fascinated. Number 28. Snuck out, left secretly. Number 29. Managed, succeeded in doing something. Number 30. Amazed, greatly surprised or impressed, astonished. Number 31. Spread like wildfire, to rapidly become widely known or evident. Number 32. Creative problem solvers, individuals who are able to find imaginative solutions to difficult problems. Number 33. Outcasts, people who are not accepted by a group or society. Number 34. Valued members, individuals who are highly regarded within a group. Number 35. Celebrates, to acknowledge something with praise or enjoyment. Number 36. Embraces, to accept something enthusiastically. Number 37. Glitchiest, having the most glitches or problems. Number 38. Weirdness, the quality of being strange or peculiar. Number 39. Zipped past, moved quickly past something or someone. Number 40. Hang out, to spend time relaxing or socializing in an informal way. Number 41. Quirks, peculiar traits or behaviors that distinguish an individual. Number 42. Assembly line, a manufacturing process in which parts are added to a product in a sequential manner to create a finished product. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.